Charlize, Emily, you were both in two of my favorite films from last year, Sicario and Mad Max. So I was thoroughly wow, excited. Wow, that's nice. To Thanks. see you together on screen. So we need to like write that movie. Yes, I know it's just hand sanitizer. It's not sweat. It's hand sanitizer. I don't I know. I don't know. <laughs> it's just pouring with sweat. Is sitting next uh, to you. So I was really excited to see you guys, you women, on screen together. I wondered though, when you play a powerful character, is it more challenging to play someone who's powerful and has all this, uh, you know, many things at her disposal, versus playing someone who's not as powerful and is trying to do good? Oh, it's a hard thing to compare. Yeah. yeah, I don't think you really can compare them because. I wonder how much I go after the the obstacles or the the circumstances that, yeah. that my characters are fighting against versus just finding the humanity. Mm. I, I wonder mm. about that sometimes. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it comes into play, but I think at the end of the day, ver whether you're playing a person who's on the right path and fighting for something, and we've all done that, um, versus the other way around, I. I think they come with their own complexities and their own um, hardships and their own um, struggles. Mm. I think purely because you're trying to find the person. I agree. The challenge for me is less about the sort of personality of the mm. character, but more about their reasons for doing what they do. Like that's where I feel like I, I have to really track it and figure it out. Because a lot of the people I've played are very dissimilar to me or how I would go about things. And you both play queens, uh, aside from the fantastic costumes that I imagine putting those on help you get into character. Yes. How do you channel your queen? Uh, play some Beyonce? I mean, <laughs> what do you do? That would have been a great idea. That we should have done great. that. Great. Why didn't we I do know. that? God, we're so stupid. It's so much fun to play these yeah. queens in like a heightened reality, especially in a heightened reality. Mm -hmm. The hair and makeup was really helpful, I would say. And then obviously the costume and then walking onto those sets. I mean, if you feel you like it all. you really do when something changes like we we were talking about how we'd go in for rehearsal in sweatpants and Uggs. our Uggs and it was Uggs. just never the same it just really <laughs> by the time we were done with hair and makeup the scene took a whole other twist yeah the huntsman is both a sequel and a prequel to the first time I, and it has all the elements of the first one the epic mm. scenes the costumes and hilarious dwarves but i feel like your character is a little bit more like lighter his tone is lifted yeah i didn't really? um i mean i enjoyed the first film but yeah. it was very depressed at a character and, and didn't want to do the same thing and then because the film takes place pre the sort of tragedy of him losing his wife we had an opportunity to have him be full of life and full mm. of hope and then we see him many years down the track uh, again we pick the story up where he has sort of come to terms with it and now lives with the love and memory of her and um I just wanted there to be a cheekiness to him and a different sort of quality than, than before. That cheekiness comes across. <laughs> Jessica, coming on board to this, your stunts, some of those, I looked at them, I was just like, that's so incredible. Oh, thank did you. Did you enjoy that part of it? I mean, what yeah. did you, the training for that? It looked intense on screen. I really, really enjoyed yeah. it. I had so much fun doing it. I was always feeling like, oh, because you know, when you're fighting next to this guy, you're going, hey, what, do I look ridiculous <laughs> here? Yeah. But uh, he would, he'd, Build up my confidence, give me some compliments <laughs> every once in a while. Yeah. Oh, is it? But she did it all in five inch lifts. Yeah. And I remember I... doing this sort of one scene where we're sort of back to back and watching her do all the acrobatics and somersaults and things. I was like, I want some of that. That's, that's incredibly impressive. And then, as I said, with high heels on. So. Yeah, that, that, that's what I was Pretty so awesome, That's yeah. doubly impressive. Yeah. Thank you. Whole new fighting style <laughs> she's created. There's a, a strength, uh, this film is about strength, not just for, for women, but for men as well, where they find their strength. What do you think it takes? Where does your strength come from? Uh, for your character and also for yourself personally, what have you learned that where strength comes from? Ravenna's strength comes from being so indoctrined with the idea that there's only one way to survive. and. It starts with, you know, her mother raising her that way and then the world kind of showing her that. And um, we kind of set that up in the first film and I, and I feel like that drives her, you know, to do some really, really terrible things in the film. I guess for myself, I've never really been that fascinated by my strengths. I find myself way more perplexed by my weaknesses yeah. most of the time. I think they're the ones that I'm always kind of sitting and thinking about more. You know, why is it that... I'm sensitive to that, or why is it that that affects me so much? Or versus like, I, I really- I'm really good at that. I really did that That's really something good. something I'm good at. <laughs> <laughs> Which is in itself a strength, to be aware of your weaknesses. I think so too. Oh, I do. yeah. Yeah. Good Wait for a you. Second. Wait, Wait a, a minute. I'm a great person. <laughs> 
And for you, I mean, your character has strength of a different kind. But well, I didn't some... ever see the character as a strong one. I think she's searching for strength. Yeah. I think she's pretty unhinged and unstable. And I think that there was always something so vulnerable about yeah. Freya that I, um, that I really related to, you know, that she's trying to fit the glove of this, um, of this villain that, um, and she's just searching for strength. She's searching for a way to make this world work for her. I am less, uh, I'm from a country where you just can't ever enthuse about anything good about yourself, so. <laughs> you'll, you'll do well in South Africa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> yeah. And on that note, <laughs> bye donkey. Thank bye donkey. <laughs>